everyone. Welcome to Nafas Yoga at Home. My name is Suhana and I'll be leading today's class just working on our hamstrings. So just grab two blocks. If you don't have any blocks, you can use books or boxes that are about the same height. Now cup your fingers next to your hips, press your fingertips down just to lift your spine up, rolling your shoulders to the back. Now bring your hands on top of your knees, palms facing down or up. Close your eyes. Let's take a few minutes just working on your breath. So in yoga, we breathe through our nose, gently keeping your mouth closed. Take an inhale, filling your belly up with air all the way up to your chest. As you exhale, emptying all the air out, pulling your belly in towards your spine. Inhale, feeling the lengthening in your spine, maybe sitting a little bit taller. As you exhale, begin to release your hips, your thighs, your knees, your ankles, your feet. It's creating this grounding sensation in your lower body. Start to observe how your breath is affecting your body, your mind, your heart. May your breath bring a little bit more calmness in today's practice, a little bit more focus. There might be a lot of distractions around you right now, today, your kids, your partner, the housework that needs to be done, your work that needs to be done. Just acknowledge them and with every exhale, let it go. Just allowing yourself to focus your breath, your time, your energy on your practice today. Allowing yourself to go through your practice without any expectations and allowing yourself to just be. And when you're ready, just gently bringing your attention back to the room and blink your eyes open. Now from here, cup your fingers next to your hips, pressing your fingertips down, just lifting your spine up again. Now place your hands onto your knees, grabbing hold onto your knees, take an inhale, Exhale, lower your chest to your left knee, drawing a huge circle. Inhale, coming back up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Just opening up your hips a little bit more. Exhale, three. Inhale, come back up. And reverse the motion. Exhale, chest to your right knee. Inhale, coming back up. Exhale, two. Inhale up, and last one, exhale, three. And now we're going to bring that right foot down onto the floor, interlace your fingers, place your palms underneath that right foot, take an inhale to sit up a little bit taller, leaning back, Exhale, begin to extend that right leg up. We're just warming up your hamstring, so don't worry about straightening the leg all the way out. Inhale, bend your knee. Exhale, reach it up. Inhale. Exhale, straighten the leg as much as you can and stay here. And just be mindful. You want to roll your shoulders away from your ears so that you can reach your chest forward. Keep your gaze towards your toes. Now, holding onto that foot with that right hand, you can lower your left hand down to the side. And then from here, take an inhale. As you exhale, begin to open that right leg out to the side. Now we're working on your inner thighs and also your hamstrings. Try to sit a little bit taller here. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, begin to bend that right knee in towards your armpit. And it looks a little bit like your half happy baby pose, except that you're sitting down. And then slowly release. Let's come into the other side. Interlacing your fingers underneath your left foot. Take an inhale first. Lean back. Exhale, begin to straighten that left leg out. Inhale, bend your knee. Exhale, just moving with the breath. Let the blood flow through your leg here. Exhale, reaching the heel up. Let's stay for a moment. Rolling the shoulders to the back, chest up. Gaze towards your toes, feel it stretching your hamstrings. And when you're ready, grabbing hold of that foot with your left hand, 
slowly your right hand down to the side. Take an inhale here. Exhale, begin to open that left leg out to the side. Use your right fingers or your right hand to prop yourself up here. You don't want to lean back too much or start rounding your back. Let's come back to the center. Take an inhale here. Exhale, bend that left knee into your armpit. Reaching your chest forward. Breathe. And when you're ready, release your leg down. Keep your knees bent, feet on the floor. Bring your feet together, knees together. Bring your hands in front of your knees. Take an inhale to sit up taller. Exhale, lean back. Rolling the shoulders to the back, pulling the belly in towards your spine. Let's come up onto your tippy toes. And when you're ready, release your hands out to the side, coming to this modified variation of your boat pose. Reach your fingers to the front at the same time, reaching your chest up. Stay for another three, two, one. Now squeeze your knees together. Take an inhale, begin to straighten that right leg up. Gaze towards your toes, keep reaching your chest forward, pulling the belly and engaging your core. When you're ready, release that right foot down. And let's extend your left leg up. Be light on your right toes here. Keep your fingers activated. Shoulders away from your ears. And then release. Hug your knees to your chest. We have one more round to go. And we're going to come into your full boat pose. Same setup. Hands in front of your knees. Sitting up tall. Lean back. Arms are fully extended. Let's come onto your Tippy toes, releasing your hands. Now squeeze your knees together. Let's lift your ankles in line with your knees first. Staying here, pulling the belly in, still breathing. Keep your face soft, your breath calm. You can stay here or begin to extend your legs up, pointing your toes, reaching your chest towards your thighs. Stay for three, for two, and one, when you're ready, releasing your legs down, hug your knees to your chest. Now cross your legs, pressing your palms down in front of you. Let's come up into your tabletop position. So in your tabletop position, align your shoulders on top of your wrists. Your hips are on top of your knees, spreading your fingers wide. Let's come into your cat cow pose. So inhale, lower your belly, lifting your heart up. Exhale, round your back, pull your belly in towards your spine. Inhale up. Exhale, press your hands down. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale, arch your back. And then exhale, round your back, pull your belly in. Let's stay here. Just activating your core, pressing your palms down, pressing your knees down, pressing your toes down. And then release, coming back to your neutral spine. Extend your right leg to the back. Inhale, lean forward. Exhale, press the heel to the back. Just warming up your calves here, the back of your leg. Feel free to move around, finding that nice, sweet spot. And then inhale, move forward, lifting that right leg up, toes pointing down. Let's find your balance, lifting your left hand up, palms facing inwards, creating this nice long line. When you're ready, release that left hand down. Take an inhale. As you exhale, round your back, bring your knee to your nose. Inhale, extend. Exhale, in. Inhale. Exhale, three. Two more rounds, exhale four, last one, exhale five, round your back, now stay here for a moment, pressing your hands down, we're going to place that right foot in between your hands, if you can't reach your hands, just grab a hold of the ankle and bring it forward, begin to untuck your left toes up, lifting your torso up, so we're going to work on opening up the front of your left thigh and your hip flexor. Place your palms down on top of the front thigh. Take an inhale. Exhale, push your hips forward. Inhale, up. Exhale, use the breath. Inhale. Exhale, fully. Inhale, up. Exhale. Last one, inhale. And then exhale, push your hips forward. Now there's a tendency to lean your body forward here. So you want to lift your torso up. Lifting that lower belly off your front thigh. 
relax your shoulders and when you're ready just releasing your hands down let's come back to your tabletop position let's come into the other side now so extend your left leg to the back toes down inhale lean forward exhale press the heel to the back remember to scoop your belly in reaching your chest forward as well try not to round your back here when you're ready let's move forward again now lift that left leg up toes pointing down scooping the belly in let's find your balance release your right hand up still keeping your breath steady here long deep inhales and exhales and then release that right hand down take an inhale exhale knee to your nose inhale exhale two inhale exhale three two more rounds exhale four just moving the breath try not to rush through these movements exhale five take a moment here and now place that left foot in between your hands untuck your right toes let's lift your torso up place your palms down onto your thigh take an inhale again exhale hips forward inhale up exhale two take this moment here we tend to hold a lot of tension in your hip flexor as we're sitting down a lot especially during this time and then the last one we're gonna hold enjoy this nice stretch lifting that lower belly off the front thigh and when you're ready just releasing your hands down again coming back to your tabletop position From your tabletop position, start drawing circles with your hips. You can make your circles as small as you want or as big as you want. Try not to force yourself here. Listen to your body and do what feels good for you right now. We want to ease the hip opening here. Make sure that you're drawing circles the other way as well. Inhaling at the top. Exhale as you reach your hips to your heels. Take your time. Just moving with your breath. And when you're ready, you're coming back to your tabletop position, realigning your shoulders on top of your wrists, hips on top of your knees. Begin to push your hips towards your heels, arms are fully extended, pressing your palms down, take an inhale, exhale, reach your hips and your knees up, coming into your downward dog. And just start bending one knee at a time, maybe even swinging your hips side to side. Just creating a little bit more space in your spine, the sides of your body. Take your time here to also come back to your breath. Now when you're downward dog, it's better to have your knees bent to allow yourself to reach your hips up a little bit higher. Take another inhale here. Exhale, scoop the belly in to engage your core. Take another inhale here. Exhale, press your hands down into the mat. Keep your legs equally activated here. And when you're ready, you're going to take an inhale, lift your heels up as high as you can, coming onto your tippy toes. Exhale, heels down. Inhale, reach your heels up. Exhale, down. Just warming up your ankles and your feet. Inhale. Exhale. You should feel a little bit in your hamstrings as well. Inhale. Exhale. Last one to go. Inhale, reach your heels up. Let's stay up here as high as you can. Begin to roll forward, coming into your plank. So in your plank, you want to stack your shoulders on top of your wrists. You might need to walk your feet to the back to align your heels on top of the balls of your feet. Scooping the belly in, pressing your hands down, slightly rounding your upper back here. Stay, keeping your breath calm, your neck long. And when you're ready, exhale, press back to your downward dog. Now inhale, reach that right leg up into your three-legged downward dog. So it doesn't matter if you're squaring your hips or opening up the hip. Just want you to feel that stretch in your left hamstring. You can stay here or if you want a deeper hip opening, feel free to bend that right knee, reaching your toes behind you, reaching that knee up towards the ceiling. Keep pressing the mat away with your hands. 
Inhale to straighten that leg up. Exhale, release your foot down. Coming to the other side, inhale, left leg up. And again, just choosing that option to bend your knee if you like. But keep your left foot active by pointing your toes behind you. And then releasing it up again. Exhale, let's come back to your downward dog. Inhale, gaze in between your thumbs. Exhale, begin to walk your hands back towards your feet to the back of your mat. Keeping your knees bent, your feet are open to hip width apart. Toes and heels are in line with each other. Make peace fingers with your hands and grab your big toes from the inside, locking it with your thumbs. Now inhale, look forward to lengthen your spine. Exhale, begin to fold, elbows pulling out to the side, crown of your head down, releasing your shoulders away from your ears. Take deep inhales and exhales here, using your exhales to reach that tailbone up a little bit higher. Next inhale, you're going to look up and exhale, release your toes. Now from here, you're still keeping your feet hip width apart. Keep your knees slightly bent. Bring your hands underneath your feet, fingers pointing to the back, reaching the crease of your wrist with your toes. Inhale to look forward again to lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold, reaching the crown of your head down. And it really helps to lean the weight into the balls of your feet to allow you to reach that tailbone up a little bit higher. Just breathing into the back of your legs. Inhale, look up. Exhale, gently releasing your hands down. Let's walk back to your downward dog, taking one breath here. Inhaling through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, start walking your feet all the way to the front of your mat. Feet open to hip width apart, knees bent. Grab your opposite elbows and just bring it up over your head, just swinging your body side to side. Releasing any tension you might have in your lower back, your shoulders, your neck. When you're ready, releasing your hands down, keep your chin tucked in, slowly rolling your body up, vertebrae by vertebrae. Taking your time, bringing your head up last. So we're going to come into our sun salutations at the top of your mat, keeping your feet open to hip width apart. Grounding your feet down, bringing your hands down by your side, palms facing forwards. Just taking a breath here. Inhale, sweep your hands up. Exhale, let's fall forward. Bend your knees if you need to. Inhale, come up high onto your fingertips. As you exhale, stepping that right leg to the back as far as you can. Lowering that right knee down, coming into your low lunge. Now inhale, sweep your hands up. As you exhale, release your hands down, press your palms down and step back to your downward dog. Let's come into our vinyasa for today. Inhale, lifting your heels up, rolling like a wave into your plank. Lower your knees down as you exhale, bend your elbows to the back, chest in between your hands. Now untuck your toes. Inhale, gliding forward into your cobra. Keep your elbows bent. Shoulders away from your ears. And then release. Let's come back to your downward dog with your exhales. No rush. Take your time. Taking a few breaths here. And then inhale, look forward. As you exhale, you can step, walk, or hop your feet to the front. Inhale to lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold deeper. Inhale, sweeping your hands up, body up. And then exhale, let's come into your second round. Fold forward again. Inhale to lengthen your spine. Exhale, stepping your left leg to the back. Knee down. Inhale, sweep your hands up. Exhale, pressing your palms down, step back to your downward dog. Let's come into that vinyasa. 
Inhale, roll forward to your plank. Shoulders on top of your wrists. Lower your knees down as you exhale, chest in between your hands, knee, chest, chin. Untuck your toes. Inhale, pushing your chest forward and up, coming into that cobra. And then releasing down. Exhale, downward dog. Just peeling yourself up. And stay here again. In your downward dog, feel free to move around. Just bending one knee at a time if you need to. Or stay in stillness. If that's what your body needs. Inhale, look forward, exhale, step, hop, walk to the front. Inhale to lengthen your spine, exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your hands up. Exhale, hands to your heart center and fold forward again, coming to your second set. Inhale to lengthen your spine, exhale, stepping your right leg to the back. Low lunge, knee down. Inhale. As you exhale, press your palms down, downward dog. Vinyasa, inhale, plank. Exhale, knees down, chest and chin down. Take your time, bending your elbows to the back. Move with control. Inhale, gliding up into your cobra, chest forward. Exhale, make your way back to your downward dog. Inhale to look forward. Exhale, step, walk, hop to the front. Inhale to lengthen your spine. Exhale, fall deeper. Inhale, lifting yourself all the way up. Last round on the other side. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale to lengthen your spine. Exhale, left leg to the back. Knee down. Inhale. Exhale, downward dog. Let's come into that vinyasa. Inhale, rolling forward to your plank. Exhale, knees down, chest and chin down. Inhale, cobra. And then exhale, downward dog. Lifting your tailbone up. And again, we're just going to stay here for a few breaths. Calming your breath down before we start our sequences. And just staying here in your downward dog. Coming back to your breath. Long, deep inhales and exhales. Grounding your hands down. Grounding your feet down. And when you're ready, inhale. Reach your right leg up. Now lift that left heel up as high as you can. Exhale, knee to your chest, pressing your hands down into the mat. And when you're ready, place that right foot in between your hands. And if you can't reach your hands, just grab hold of the ankle and bring it forward. Let's lower that left knee down, coming into your low lunge. I'm going to come into your low lunge twist. So place that left hand on the inside of your right foot. Reach your right hand up, opening up your chest to the side. Take another inhale here. Exhale, let's circle that right hand to the back to allow you to rotate the chest a little bit more. Now feel free to have a block underneath that left hand. Pointing your left toes down, inhale, squeeze the heel in. Exhale, down, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Just working on strengthening your hamstrings here. One more round, inhale, squeeze it in and stay here or Point your toes up and see if you can grab hold of your foot. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, squeezing the heel in, twisting your upper body a little bit more. Taking long, deep inhales and exhales, making sure your hips are pushing forward here. And then when you're ready, release. Coming back to that low lunge, tuck your left toes in, lift that left knee off the mat, coming to your high lunge. Inhale, keeping your legs strong, reach your hands up. Exhale, lower that left knee to hover off the mat. 
Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale to strengthening your quads. Exhale. Three. Two more rounds. Keep your breath steady. Last one. Exhale. Knee hovering off the mat. Stay. And then gently releasing that left knee down. Plant your palms down. Step back to your downward dog. Let's come into a one round of vinyasa or feel free to stay in your downward dog or even your child's pose. If you're coming into your vinyasa, just take it slow, moving one posture to another and using your breath. And meet us all again in your downward dog. Coming back to your breath and your downward dog before we start on the other side. Now inhale, reach that left leg up, three-legged downward dog. Lift your right heel up as high as you can. Exhale, knee to your chest. Press the mat away as you bring that left foot in between your hands. Let's come back into that low lunge, right knee down. Plunge your left hand down, opening the chest up. Reach your left fingers up towards the ceiling. So the more you press that right hand down, the more you can open the chest up. Take an inhale, exhale, circle your left hand to the back, reaching the fingers now towards the back wall, keeping your hips pushing forward here. And when you're ready, keeping your right toes pointing down, inhale, squeeze the heel in, exhale down, inhale, exhale, inhale three, keep going, inhale four, Last one, inhale five. We're gonna stay here, squeezing the heel in. Stay here, or if you want to grab hold of the foot, point your toes up. Inhaling first, exhale, pull the heel in closer. And breathe. Just being mindful about that right knee. Make sure you're not directly on top of that joint and more on the fleshy part of the knee. And from here, come back to your high lunge, lifting that right knee off. Inhale, sweeping your hands up. Let's come into your lunges. Exhale, lower that right knee to hover. Inhale, lifting up. Keep your torso upright here. Inhale, two. Exhale, down. Inhale. Exhale, four. Last one to go. Exhale, five. Stay for a moment and then lower all the way down. Plant your palms down, step back to your downward dog. Feel free to stay here or again, feel free to come into that vinyasa just to reset everything. Knees down, chest and chin down, moving with control. And then when you're ready, let's come back to your downward dog. Long deep inhales and exhales, just creating space in your spine creating space in the back of your legs. We're going to come into our second sequence. When you're ready, inhale, right leg up. Exhale, let's bring that knee into your chest. And place that right foot in between your hands. And coming to your pyramid pose, so begin to straighten that front leg. Maybe even walking your left foot in slightly to ground the heel down. Your toes can be pointing slightly outwards. Grab blocks if you need them to bring it outside of your leg. Choosing the right level that allows you space. Now take an inhale to lengthen your spine forward. Exhale, bring your chest down over that right leg. In your pyramid pose, try to keep your hips level by pulling that right heel to the back. And when you're ready, inhale, look up. You can remove the blocks to the side for now. And just start walking your hands to the left, coming into your white-legged forward fold, aligning your toes and your heels, grabbing hold of your ankles or any part of your legs that allow you to keep your legs straight. Inhale to lengthen your spine. Exhale, begin to pull the crown of your head down. And feel it in your hamstrings. You want to pull the weight forward towards the ball of your feet. Now inhale, look up, release your hands down in front of you, stacking your shoulders on top of your wrists. Take an inhale, exhale, bend your left knee, inhale, come back to center, exhale, right. Inhale, exhale, left. Inhale, exhale, right. 
One more set. Inhale, exhale, left. Last one. Exhale, right. Come back to center. Now turn your right toes towards the front. Left toes still remain pointing to the side. We're going to come into your triangle pose. So again, grab a block and place it on the inside of that front leg. Pressing your palms down, open the chest up as you reach that left hand up. So in your triangle pose, it's not about going low with that bottom hand. It's about opening up your chest to the side, creating this nice long line with your arms. When you're ready, release. Let's come back to your downward dog. And again, coming into that vinyasa or stay in your downward dog or even come into your child's pose if that's what you need right now. Always listen to your body. You don't have to come into that vinyasa. You don't have to stay in your downward dog. But if that's what you want, go for it. Taking a few more breaths here in your downward dog just to calm your nervous system, calm your thoughts. And let's come into the other side now. Take an inhale, left leg up. Exhale, lift the heel up, knee to your chest. And then place that left foot in between your hands. Let's come into that pyramid pose, keeping both your legs straight. So grab your blocks if you need to, stepping that back foot in, grounding the foot down if you need to. Inhale to lengthen your spine first. Exhale, begin to fold forward. Keeping your hips level by pulling that left heel to the back. Nice, long, deep inhales and exhales. And when you're ready, take an inhale, look up. And start walking your hands to the right. Coming into that wide-legged forward fold, aligning your toes, your heels with each other. Reach back to clasp your hands, pressing your palms together. Take an inhale first. Exhale, reach the crown of your head down. Lifting your hands off your hips here. And again, leaning the weight into the toes or into the balls of your feet. When you're ready, inhale, look up, releasing your hands down in front of you, stacking your shoulders on top of your wrist. Take an inhale, exhale, bend your right knee, inhale, exhale, left, inhale, exhale, right, inhale, exhale, left, inhale, exhale, last one, inhale, exhale. This time I'm going to come back to center. And let's come into your triangle pose. This time, turning your left toes to the front, bringing that block on the inside of your left leg, pressing your palms down, open the chest up, and reaching your right fingers up into that triangle pose. Bringing your shoulders away from your ears, keeping both your hands, your arms activated. Opening the chest up to the side, and then release, stepping back to your downward dog, child's pose, or, or your vinyasa. Come back to your breath. If you feel tired, you feel anxious, Feel free to exhale through your mouth. And then from here, inhale, reach your right leg up. Lift that left heel up. Exhale, knee to your chest. Last one on the side. Place that right foot in between your hands. Let's come back to that low lunge. So we're going to prepare ourselves to come into your Hanumanasana or your splits, your forward splits. Grab your blocks and again, Choose the level of your blocks, either level one, two, or three. You want to be able to create space here. So pressing your palms down, inhale to lengthen your spine. Exhale, push your hips to the back, left toes up into your half splits. Inhale forward. Exhale, hips to the back. Just move with your breath. Inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhale forward, 
and then exhale hips to the back let's stay here getting deeper into your hamstrings take another inhale to lengthen your spine exhale bring your chest down over that front leg remember to reach your toes towards your face try not to round your back maybe even gazing towards your toes here from here we're gonna start coming into your full splits so let's start off in your half split so your hips to the back right toes up use your blocks as support so you can feel free to move your blocks to the back take an inhale exhale begin to push your right heel to the front now if you find that your hips start opening up to the left rock side to side and just bring it back to center and then take another inhale exhale press that heel forward again and if you can't go all the way down don't worry about it if you are up here and you have still have a lot of space to go all the, uh, to the floor you can grab your block and place that block underneath your right hip try to keep your hips facing forward here lifting your chest up pulling that lower belly off the front thigh and just breathe stay here try to find that calmness in this difficult posture with your breath and when you're ready to release just remove the block to the side and just start dragging that heel to the back and come back to your downward dog and from here you can come into your vinyasa or even stay in your downward dog or come into your child's pose if you feel like you want to conserve your energy we have one more round on the other side take a few more breaths here in your downward dog just releasing that tension in your legs so feel free to move around and an inhale left leg up exhale knee to your chest press the mat away and place that left foot in between your hands let's lower that right knee down and again grab your blocks placing it outside of the left leg choosing your level pressing your palms down take an inhale to lengthen exhale half splits hips to the back left toes up inhale forward exhale inhale just moving with the breath exhale take your time inhale and exhale last one inhale and then exhale hips to the back left toes up let's get deeper in your half splits inhale to lengthen exhale reaching your chest down try and avoid rounding your back here and then when you're ready let's come into your full splits from your half splits so using your blocks again feel free to move it to the back take an inhale first exhale reaching your heel forward taking your time here and if you find your hips opening up just rock side to side and remember you don't have to go all the way down don't force yourself into it listen to your body be patient with yourself be kind to yourself and if you need to prop yourself up grab that block and place it underneath your hip remember to lengthen your spine once you've found that split lifting that lower belly off the front thigh when you're ready to come out of it gently lift your hip up removing the block and then slowly dragging that heel to the back so take your time here hamstrings are something that can get easily injured if you push yourself too hard and then from here let's come back to your downward dog you can move your blocks blocks to the side or even stay in your child's pose Let's just close off your practice here. And ending up into your child's pose if you're not already in it. 
knees wide, torso in between your legs, just release your head down, release your arms, release your hips towards your heels. You deserve this rest, so enjoy it, savor it. When you're ready, inhale, look up, slowly walking your hands back up. Release your legs to the front, and let's come down onto your back. Hug your knees to your chest, just rocking side to side, just gently massaging your lower back here. Bring your feet together, knees open wide into your butterfly legs. Wrap your hands around your feet, take a deep inhale. As you exhale, pull your feet down towards your chest, not your groin. And be mindful about your shoulders. You're releasing your shoulders down, releasing your neck. And enjoy this nice stretch in your hips, your thigh, inner thighs, your groin. Long, deep inhales and exhales. When you're ready, opening your feet out into your happy baby pose. Bottoms of your feet are pointing upwards. Take an inhale, exhale, pull your knees down. Feel free to stay here in stillness or even rock side to side, dropping one knee down at a time. And then hug your knees to your chest again. Let's keep your right knee hugged in, lower that left leg all the way down. Take an inhale, exhale, begin to pull that right knee down to the left as you look over to your right. Coming into this gentle spinal twist, close your eyes. And then inhale, come back to center, switching legs, left knee hugging, hugging in, right leg all the way down, take an inhale, exhale, pulling the knee out to the side, looking over that left shoulder. Just breathing into the left side of your body. And then inhale, come back to center, hug your knees to your chest, giving another good squeeze, take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, begin to release your legs down, feet as wide as the mat, bringing your hands down by your side, palms facing up. Close your eyes into your Shavasana. Just feeling your belly rise up and down as you let go of any tension you might have in your body, your mind, your heart. Just allowing yourself to rest. Feel free to stay here for as long as you want. And just enjoy this relaxation. <laughs> 